Details from the cold case unit were in a, co a court document just released about what led up to the arrest, including the death of a witness from COVID-19 last year. All right. 30 years after he was first questioned in the death of 17 year old Trisha Moreno, Rodney Daniels is now charged with first degree murder. Right, to this indictment, how do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Trisha was 17 years old when she was shot in the head while out on the fire escape of her foster home in Malden. Daniels was the boyfriend of Trisha's foster sister, Chantel, and was staying in the home the night she was killed. Police say he claimed to have heard the gunshots but never saw the shooter. Now new details in the investigation in a statement of the case filed with the court. Police say Daniels had threatened Trisha in the weeks before her death, including one night when Trisha told her foster mother she awakened to find Daniels in her bedroom. She could see that Daniels had a gun in his hand which he put up to her head. Investigators say her foster mother never contacted police or DSS about the gun. Police say after the murder, Daniels bragged that police didn't find any gunpowder on him. And when Trisha's foster mother said, you can't get away with murder, Daniels replied, yes, you can. Daniels was protected with the help of an All alibi Chantel provided for him. In 2020, she died after contracting COVID-19. And investigators say another family member provided new information that led to this week's arrest. Privacy, please. And we respect that. No comment from the family of Rodney Daniels or Trisha's family who have waited 30 years for an arrest. As time goes by and people feel I'll never get that call. Uh, we'll never get to solving it. And we mean what we say when we say we never give up. And Rodney Daniels is being held without bail. His next hearing is in three weeks. Karen Anderson, 5 Investigates.